Guys, today we are joined by two A6 designer legends, Takayuki san and Takei san. Hello, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to, inter to be with the interview with us. And yeah, I think without further ado, shall we jump right in? Yeah, sure. So, I just want to ask you guys you guys are both designers. Can you tell us a bit about the process of designing sneakers for A6? How does that design process look like? It's a little bit hard to share everything. Process is we are um, not just a drawing, but we create a concept a story. So that is very important for us. so research and market, consumer behavior, everything. So we are do we are not chasing just trends. For us, trend is just a result, market result. So always we are looking for next new experience. So consumer behavior is important. Consumer mind changes, market changes. So after that, so we create product stories. So designing is a more finalized stage. Yeah. So you, you mentioned about um, looking at future trends, uh, what is upcoming, and then um, you guys are designing for the future. So uh, can you explain in your design process, how do you go about doing that? Like, um, do you, um, I don't know, walk in the park and look at what, what, is, what are people wearing on feet? Do you go to the malls? Uh, do you look through Instagram or magazines? Like, is is there like a design process that spark? Oh, this is an upcoming trend. How do, how do you actually tell what is upcoming? So now market is a big change from past. Global trend is just one. So everyone can see Instagram, magazine, website. So everyone can see just one big trend. But now, so everything changes. So culture trend, fashion trend, we have so much trend. So we take everything, especially lifestyle part, so um, consumer mindset. What do you think will be the trend five years from now? Or like a few years from now? What do you think the next trend is for sneakers? I think now in these three years, so um, Y2K. So that, that is a big, big, yeah, big word. So uh, we are strong now, so uh, 2000 era uh, tech sneaker silhouette one. So it's very strong now in the market. But I think so. Uh, it depends on the consumer se type styles. So Y two K is still growing up, and also uh, already some countries started uh, next from my eye. So I think one is a back to more classic, and one is a more futuristic, hyper futuristic or something. But it's a return from past. But so, uh, also both one is a more like uh, updated, updated, and also they are like uh, mixing one. New with all this uh, silhouette with this silhouette mixing, right? Yeah. I just want to ask as well, you mentioned you mix a lot of old and new sneakers, right? How do you pick which old and new sneaker to play around with? Like, how does that process look like? Do you just pick one from the archive and like, I think this will look good with this? Or like, how does this like process look like? Not only archive, so we create a new series based, uh, based on the text, latest tech text stories. First priority is, uh, so which one has a strong story behind the story? Yes. Yes. So we are not just pick up like, oh, this is cool series. So more need behind the story, history. The Gel Nimbus 10.1 is a new silhouette from you guys. Yeah. Can you explain a bit, like, there are some differences between the 10.0 and 10.1. Is yeah. there any differences? So um, now we are very strong, 2000 era running shoes, bring bar. Yeah. So kind of 14, so everyone knows that. Yeah, I love yeah, yeah. So kind of 14 is uh, almost one to one bring back style. Yes. Gel Kayano series and the Nimbus series. So that both are very important for ASIC. So uh, we would like to introduce um, our ASICS to DNA. So now Kayano is already getting famous. So we want to uh, make Nimbus more higher position. Okay. So that is the reason why we picked up Gel Nimbus. And also uh, we would like to not going to just one to one bring back. So hybrid to Kayano and the Nimbus. Nimbus. And also um, Kayano 14 and the Nimbus 10 is a uh, same air product. So I just want to ask, the Gel Nimbus 10.1 is the new silhouette. Can we expect any future collaborations from the Gel Nimbus 10.1 that you can share with us? We will have some like a big story, big story, car update <laughs> in this two or three season. Okay, um, yeah, so pretty yeah. looking for yeah. You so guys, you can look forward to Gel Nimbus 10.1 collaborations coming out very soon. You are known for blending archi uh, archive and heritage shoes. How challenging is it to mix these elements of archive and newer shoes? And how do you overcome the difficulties, you know, to find old shoes but to make them fresh and new? えっと、ミックスして、デザインをしていくっていうことに、えっと、難しさをそこまで感じて、はい。そう、ピラミッドフィルエニディスカーディングミックスインザニューワールド。Very easy for you. Okay. But guys, I also just want to ask, you get to look into the ASICS archive a lot. 
what is the most exciting thing? Because you know, for me as a sneaker lover, if I look into the ASICS archive, I think I would go crazy get to look at all the ASICS shoes. So like, for you, what's the most exciting part about looking into the ASICS archive? As archive shoes, the point is大事にしていて、その、その機能的なアシックスらしい機能的なポイントっていうのがちょっとうまく表現されているものにすごい行きたい気分。Can you それは、えっと、アシックスがえっと、すごいコンフォート大切にしています。それは、えっと、パフォーマンスでもライフスタイルでも、えっと、アーカイブのモデルでも、えっと、どの時代でもコンフォートっていうものを大切にしているので、その部
<laughs> but we are so excited about uh, like uh, not just only color changes by partners having a discussion how to create a newness. Example of a collaboration collaborator you work with which you really enjoy and the, the process. Do you have like a fun story to share about you know Any working on a collaboration with, with a collaborator? Uh, I really fun everything, <laughs> every collaborator. <laughs> If I choose one, I, I should say Kiko. Kiko? So, wow, um, okay. Yeah, Kiko Kostadinos. So he is uh, our uh, like, uh, very higher creative partner now. Yeah. I have one last question for, for myself. Uh, I'm not sure whether you've heard of uh, Stikala Steta Red Shoe. Yeah. yeah, I just want to give uh, ask you guys, uh, from a rating of 1 to 10, how would you rate this collaboration? 1 to 10. Yeah, Snickala, Snickala uh, Jalai Tree collaboration. As a, from your point of view of a designer, storyline, design, material, how would you rate this collaboration from Snickala with the Jalai Tree A6? Mm. This is for the Snickala <laughs> audience at home. Yeah, you, you can be honest. Yeah, just be honest. 100% yeah. honest, don't well, worry. For me, yes. just one word, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I like the um, uh, concept story and the product itself is I so different. So I can imagine something behind the story concept. Details telling the story, so material selection, making or like a aesthetic and yeah, also their stories. So, sorry? 100. 100. Wow, thank you. <laughs> there are a lot of people who want to become designers, especially sneaker designers. And we have uh, in Malaysia as well. What advice would you give them? Key points. One is that we are not a fashion brand. Yeah. So we are uh, active lifestyle based on the sports, like a science. So, uh, and also, second one is that uh, our design are not just drawing a shoe. So we create a uh, brand as a creator. And also we create products. Our designing is not just aesthetic. Create like a function, functional design, human centric thinking. So our designer needed those points. If I could say otherwise for everyone, please have a big eyes for everything. Mm -hmm. Try everything. Try everything. Mm -hmm. There you go guys, make sure to try everything. If you want to start designing sneakers, don't just look at it from one point of perspective. So basically, thank you so much Takayu-san and takayu -san, for interviewing and taking your time out of your busy schedule to sit down with us and talk a bit about your design process and so forth. I really appreciate this. Thank you so much from Speaker Love from Malaysia. So yeah, thank you. Right. Wow. Uh, <laughs>